Hey everybody, this is Wendy from Wendelonia, and today I'm going to show you how to make this Rick and Morty birthday card. I started off by painting the portal that they go through um, with watercolor paints. I used a light green as a base, and then I added some darker green swirls above that. As I went along, um, I just kept layering and adding a bit more here and there, drying between layers so they wouldn't mix too much. Um, at one point I decided it was a little too dark, so I pulled some of the color off with a, a paper towel. Um, I did a little bit of flicking to kind of show the messiness of it, and uh, I added some water drops to pull up some paint, that kind of thing. So once I was happy with that, I went ahead and dried it with my heat gun, and then I pulled off the tape and it was ready to trim. I decided I wanted a little bit of a border around the edge. This original one was four and a half by six inches, and I trimmed it down to like four and three eighths by five and three eighths, something like that. Um, basically, I just pulled about an eighth of an inch off of a standard card base size. I don't think I'm saying the right dimensions there. So once I had it trimmed, I put it on top of a card base to make sure I liked the way it looked, and I did. I used a green card base, and then I decided to start putting the card together. Before I started filming, I did my Rick and Morty characters. I didn't have any stamps or anything I could use, so I got the idea of going online and looking for Rick and Morty coloring pages, which ended up being perfect. I found these two, or this one where they were both dancing, and I thought that looked kind of celebratory for a birthday. So I printed it out on a Nina Solar uh, white cardstock, and I colored it in with my Copic markers. I did really simple coloring because they're colored very simply in the show. There isn't a lot of shading or anything. So then I fussy cut them out, which was a little bit of a pain, but actually not too bad. So the next thing I'm gonna do for the card is create a sentiment. Um, I am stamping these using a, I think it's a Kelly Perky set. Um, I'll list that, a link to that down in the details below. And I'll also link to the coloring page that I ended up using. And I'm using Versamark ink with white embossing over the top to spell out happy burp day so sort of like rick and morty would say like rick would do burp like that um so fun fact my son really loves rick and morty and last year when they released the szechuan dipping sauce at mcdonald's one of the mcdonald's in our area was giving them away. There weren't very many that were given out. I think there were only a thousand were given out total, something like that. And he got in line with his friends at McDonald's at 5 a.m. <laughs> he was like the sixth person in line or something like that. And he waited in line until 2 p.m. And he was one of the people who got um, some of the Szechuan dipping sauce. He also got a limited edition poster, which is really nice. Um, he got the one for the special sauce, not the Szechuan dipping sauce, but it, it looked really, it's really good looking. We have it framed and it's hanging on the wall of his room. And the fun thing, super fun thing about this Szechuan dipping sauce was that he sold it on eBay and he sold it for over a hundred dollars. One little packet of this McDonald's uh, Szechuan sauce. So he was pretty excited because I mean, he was 13 years old. How cool is that? Okay. So like I said, I am stamping out the sentiment, happy burp day with Versamark ink. And then I'm sprinkling white embossing powder over the top and heating it up. So it, it melts and gets that nice shiny look. Um, it's kind of a boring process. I tried to speed it up a lot. Uh, so you don't have to watch the whole thing. I'm such a messy stamper, and so I was being really careful on this one because I didn't want it to look like crap. 
All right, so next up, I have my Rick and Morty characters who I colored with Copic markers, and now I'm just kind of arranging the card. Excuse my head there. I have to lean directly over the card to make it um, line up right. I never get it right if I don't do that. So here I'm just moving the different elements around, trying to decide where I want them to go. And I decided, once I got the layout right, I decided I wanted to pop everything up with some foam tape. I ordered this foam tape from AliExpress. I got this giant roll. It was ridiculously cheap and it took a long time to come. But ever since then, I, I got it a few months ago and I've been using it like crazy. And I've barely even made a dent in it. It's awesome. So I will link that down below um, to the place where I got that. And I will also link the coloring page that I used for the Rick and Morty. So now you're going to see me adding foam tape onto these figures and things for what feels like 40 years. I swear to God, when I make a card, the foam tape part of it takes longer than everything else combined sometimes. It's ridiculous, but it does look nice once it's done. So I guess it's worth it. Uh, I don't know, you be the judge. If you wanna just tape it all down, that's fine by me. So you'll see, here I am. I'm still putting phone tape on Rick. Still putting it on, still putting it on, still putting it on, still putting it on. Oh, finally I got Rick on the cord card. Now it's time to do Morty. And this is gonna take another 50 years. But once I'm done with this, I'm done with the card. I was really happy with how it turned out. I thought my watercolor portal looked good. I liked Ricky Morty. I liked everything. I think my son liked it too, but you know, he's 14 years old and it's hard for 14 year old boys to get super excited about greeting cards. He was more excited about the gift that was inside of it, which was a nice fat gift card to Newegg because he's trying to build a computer. So look, do you see this? I'm still doing Morty. Can you believe it? But now the card's done and I'm very happy with it. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you wanna see more like this, I do lots of crafty videos. You can subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below and I'll try and get to them. Thanks a lot, see you next time.